Sam Foles is a barrister who has advised on issues around genocide in the UK and internationally. He has been watching this judgment at the International Court in The Hague very closely, um, considering a, a case brought by South Africa alleging that Israel had embarked upon genocidal behaviour. And, and Sam joins us now. Sam, what can you tell us? Um, well, it's... It was a judgment full of, of twists and turns. The first, the b- first big headline is the court found that it was plausible to say that Israel is breaching the terms of the Genocide Convention in respect of Palestine. So it is plausible that South Africa says uh, that Israel is, is committing a genocide or genocidal acts. Gosh. Now, that is not the same as saying Israel has committed genocide, it's a, but it's saying it's plausible, it's arguable. That was the first big headline. South Africa would have then expected to what, uh, th- that it would follow that the court would order a ceasefire. And that's what South Africa asked for. Yes. And the court didn't. The court in- uh, declines to order a ceasefire and instead made six, uh, six orders uh, for I- Israel or, or, or six, one order with six provisions right. um, that essentially... So uh, order Israel to do everything in its power to prevent the commission of of genocidal acts, to ensure that the IDF uh, doesn't commit any prohibited act, uh, to punish people that do, um, to allow necessary aid and to preserve evidence and to submit a report about all of this to the, the court within one month. Now, what's surprising about that is with the exception of the of the last bit, the providing a report, yes. Israel already has to do all of those things. So it's already bound by the Genocide Convention. It already has uh, has a legal duty to not commit genocidal acts, to punish people that do, to restrain its forces. So after coming forward with a very significant criticism of Israel and finding that it's plausible, it's breaching the convention, mm. it was then a very restrained and and I think South Africa would argue weak uh, order that followed it. And is this a holding position, Sam, or is this the end of the issue? No, this is very much a holding position and it'll be a holding position for a long time. This was simply an interim hearing. Yes. Um, So, and the, the, the court made made it very clear on several occasions that the determination on whether Israel has actually committed acts of genocide is for the merits hearing, and that's not likely to happen probably for a matter of years. So this is a case that will run on for a long time. Um, The the point of this hearing was to say, number one, is it it uh, plausible that there may be breaches, i.e. is this worth carrying on with? Is it it worth investigating? Is it a real issue? And also... Do we need to do something to alleviate the immediate danger to Palestinians? And the court answered yes to both of those questions. Without really, as you've explained it, specify, I mean, not really demanding any new actions from Israel in order to ensure well, that they are doing the thing that the court has told them to do. As you say, they're, they're already required to do all the things that they've been told to do, except submit a report, which sounds, in the great scheme of things, relatively unimportant. Well, yes. And I think the, the report will obviously provide another opportunity for the, the court to review this. But what Israel will say, well, is, well, we're doing all these things. Israel's mm. position is that we are complying with international law. We're complying with the Genocide Convention. So yes, we're perfectly happy to take all measures necessary to comply with the Gen- uh, Genocide Convention because that's what we've been doing all of this time. So this is it's arguably a case that, that both sides could claim victory from. Here. And probably will. I, I, except for one wrinkle that occurs to me, which is that if, I mean, Israel's position probably will be, as you describe, we will continue to take all measures to prevent genocide. But if the court has found that the genocide accusation is plausible, then it it, it, it would be quite easy to argue, well, you clearly haven't taken enough measures. Because if you really had taken all measures to prevent genocide, the court wouldn't have found the genocide accusation hmm. as plausible. Yes. And I think that's uh, potentially the the point that Israel's allies are hmm. going to find find themselves under pressure on. Because this yeah. This case, realistically, was always about Israel's allies, arguably more 
than Israel. Yes. Um, the Israeli government has said they described the court, the ICJ today, as a kangaroo court. And That's so right. there's, there's been a sort of level of disrespect from the Isra- Israeli uh, um, administration, although they did comply with the, and engage with the process in, in full and in good faith. But it's the US, it's the UK, it's Germany. Um, it's all, all, of, all of these states will now be saying, well, there, there has been this finding that it's plausible Israel are, are, are breaching the convention. There has been a finding that there is a real and immediate danger to Palestinians. Politically, this becomes much more difficult to justify domestically for those states. Um, and uh, uh, on the ground then, in the, in the short term, there won't be any particular changes in what Israel is doing in Gaza, but the, but the, but the pressure being brought to bear by allies may change the long term picture. Yes, I think possibly one thing in the short term is that allies will put significantly more pressure on Israel to allow in necessary aid. Yes. And that is one of the points that's, uh, that's in the order. And it's sort of, it's almost politically the easiest to do mm. for, uh, um, for, for allies that to, to really focus on that. Um, difficult to argue that, uh, that Palestinian civi- civilians shouldn't be entitled to that, that aid. And that's a way for uh, st- uh, states in the West to... Uh, to look to, to appear to com- comply with the order and to pe- appear to take note and sort of satisfy political pressure, while at the same time maintaining their their diplomatic position of respecting what they call Israel's need to defend itself. And, and finally, Sam, could, could the court have handed down a stronger judgment, or was it only ever going to be plausibility or not? The, it could only ever at this side uh, time decide on plausibility. Yes, that's so what it, I thought. I just wanted to clarify. Never in a position to to to, to make it because as, because as you say substance. that that that's, that that can only be concluded years hence. Um, indeed, Sam Fowles, many thanks indeed.